I welcome you all to this exciting video. Here we'll be answering section A, uh, mathematics, paper 2, 2019. This was an internal paper. So we'll answer questions from section A. Um, okay, so here we start. So that's the first question there or a matrix okay so the first question here is simply a matrix okay we're just going to answer it right away so without wasting much time it says given the matrix a is equal to six two x three find the value for we of x for which the determinant is 36 okay so uh, you can see the question here i won't write it here so i'll just write question one a Okay, so we have this matrix A is equal to 6, 2, X3. Okay. Find the value of X being given that the determinant of A is 36. So we write the formula. Determinant of A is equal to AD minus BC. Okay. Major diagonal minus uh, minor diagonal. Okay. So here we... We know that um, 6 is A, this is B, this is C, and uh, this is D, okay? That's what we know so far. So we, we are going to write uh, determinant A, which is 36. So determinant uh, for A is 36, eh? okay? Is equal to A is what? 6. 6, okay, multiplied by D, which is 3. Put this in brackets minus b that is x okay multiplied by uh, 2 which is c so we say 36 is equal to um here you get 18 here you get 2x okay now we are solving for x here okay so you can take um you can take this uh, 36 minus 18 is equal to negative 2x okay what do we have here we should get uh, we are subtracting 36 from 18 okay let's see what we have okay so Okay, so you get 18 here, uh, negative 2x, divide both sides by negative 2x, I mean negative 2, sorry, negative 2. Here x happens to be negative what? 9, okay, and uh, that's how you find this one, okay, sorry, I wasn't looking at my screen. Okay, so that is for question um, A, then question B says hence find the inverse of matrix a okay quickly here the inverse of matrix a we just need to do this okay um we're going to say the inverse of a inverse you write it like this is divided by one over determinant of a okay d a negative b negative c okay so here just going to come like this one over determinant of a is 36 d is 3 okay here a is 6 these you just multiply them so remember for x it's negative 9 eh? negative 9 now there's a negative here so it just becomes positive this one is positive. Remember, there's a negative here, so negative 2. And it ends there. Okay. So here you'd have answered question A. And then you go to question B. Okay. Question B says a box contains four red pens. Okay. A box contains uh, four red pens. So four pens which are red, five are green. A pen is picked at random from the box without replacement, and the second pen is then picked. Draw a tree diagram. 
All right, so here is how we are going to do this. Okay, so the total total pins are actually nine. Okay, let me use a different thing. The total pins are actually nine. Okay, so I mean the probabilities for red it is four over the total, which is nine, and green the probabilities. Five over nine. So we draw a tree diagram. So here's how you do that. Okay. So you're going to write red this side and green this side. Okay. Hope I won't run out of space. Uh, let's see. Will I run out of space here? Okay. I think let me just do it from here. If I put red there and green there so because it will go like this okay so um you do this okay so red it is four over nine green it is five over nine okay so now the probability will be that one pen is picked and it's not replaced so you do this, the outcomes here, this will be red, this will be green. So in this case here, assume that the pen which was picked was red. So this will reduce to three over. Now the total is no longer nine, it becomes eight. Okay, this is eight, okay. Then this side, so this side we only assume that red one was picked meaning the green one will still be five, right? Okay. But remember the dot was reduced to eight. Okay. Okay, uh, my spacing here, so red, uh, green. Okay, so here we assume that the green one was now the one which was picked, so it reduced to four, which makes eight, then the red one will be maintained there, four, and then eight. All right. So from here we can see that the outcomes here, red, red. Okay. So here this will be red, 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 green, green, red, green, red, and this will be green, uh, green. This is the tree diagram, and that's all you need to do at this point. Okay, let's look at the other question. What says, What is the probability of picking one red and one green? Okay, so here you are. So, one red and one green happens to be this and this. Okay, one red and one green. All right, so red here it is what? So, this is red, green, red is uh, so red, green, red was four over nine. multiplied by the green which is 5 over 8 okay this gives us 20 over uh, 20 over we are multiplying um, we are multiplying 9 times 8 72 Okay, a green, green, red, so that is 5 over 9 by 4 over 8. This and this, that is 20. They are again 72. Okay, so now we are looking for a probability where picking one, okay, one of each color, which are these two? The yeah, question is saying that. What's the probability of picking one red and one green? Okay. So this is here where you're picking one red, one green, one red, one green. Eh? So you're going to add these two outcomes together. Okay. So probability of picking one red and one green. Okay. Would be what? Uh, 20 over 72 plus 20 over 72 common denominator here is 72 
one so you have 20 plus 20 this gives us what 40 over 72 and this is the probability now we need to reduce this to its lowest terms right okay so we just need to reduce the number to its lowest terms by finding a number that can go into a 72 and 40 okay all right so we try eight okay eight into 40 that is five eight into 72 okay 72 divided by eight that is nine and this is our final answer okay that's the final answer for this question so here you see that question one you are done at this particular point okay we go to question two question two says simplify okay simplify we have six x squared minus 24 over x minus 2 so we simplify this okay so simplifying this we need to factorize first okay six can be factorized you have x squared minus how many times does six actually go into 24 okay 24 divided by 6 that is 4 okay so 4 so we've just factorized what's on top then x minus 2 so you notice the upper this numerator can be simplified further so 6 is going to be x squared minus 2 squared over x minus 2 so now this becomes now a difference of two squares eh? a difference of two squares which is the same as six x minus two then x plus two x minus two there okay so here after doing the difference of two squares you notice this and this are the same they can divide so final answer basically just becomes six x plus what two we have simplified that time eh? so we go to question b so this was 2a and then b says given the geometric progression 4 8 16 okay find the geometric mean of that okay so this one b1 the geometric mean of 256 and 1024 okay so for this one it's very easy so this one uh, we're just going to do this uh, 256 okay plus 1024 and what do we get um we get this um, So we're supposed to multiply this one. We're supposed to multiply this. Okay. So we just do this 256 multiplied by 1024. You have 262144. And you have to just square root that. And here you have the answer 512. Okay, so this is our geometric, uh, our geometric mean. Okay, find the 11th term. Okay, the 11th term. So the 11th term basically we write term number 11 like this. So the formula is like this AR n minus what one. Eh? So finding term number 11, A happens to be the first term, right? so the first term is 4, so that is 4 multiplied by what is R, R is what we call the common ratio, so R is given by T2 over T1, 8 over 4, that is 2, 
So that would be 2, 11 minus 1. Okay, so this will give us 4 multiplied by 2 to the power 10. What do we have? Okay, so 2 to the power 10. Uh, then we multiply it by, by 4. Okay. Okay, so here we get four zero nine six. All right, then uh, sum of the first eleven terms. So for the sum of the first eleven terms, here we are going to use this formula. S n is equal to a. Okay, R n. Uh, and minus one over r minus one. Eh? And the reason why we're using this is because our r is greater than one. Okay, so the sum of the what? First 11 terms. So we're going to find sum of the first 11 terms. First term is four, r is two, here again 11, okay, minus what, one over r which is 2 minus 1 this will be 4 what is 2 to the power 11 okay 2 to the power 11 so this will give us um, 2048, remember minus 1 there, this will give us 1, eh? so that will be 4, 2047, can you ignore the one because once you divide it you automatically get the same thing, so 4 in brackets 2047, all right, you get 8,188. So that's the sum, the first 11 terms. Okay. And after this, uh, you're done with the first page. Eh? Okay. So you're done with the first page. You go to the next page. Okay. And the next page here, you have question three. Um, it's here. Question three says that solve solve the equation. Okay, this is a, a nice question which is always given. Uh, it's five marks. Okay, this question is five marks. So solve the equation p squared minus p is equal to four. So you have p squared minus p is equal to four. This will be p squared minus p. You take the 4 this side, it comes minus 4 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic. Eh? Okay. This is a quadratic because it's in the form a, b, c, i. Okay. That's the quadratic. So um, our a, the coefficients. Eh? Okay. So a here is 1. B is what? The coefficient here is negative 1. C is negative what? 4. Okay, so without wasting time here, what do you do? Straight away the quadratic equation. Okay, x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So negative. Now look at here. Look at this. There's a negative one here. So negative one. Okay. Plus or minus b squared. Okay. We can do a shortcut here. One squared is what? One squared is just one. 
minus 4. What is A? 1. C is negative 4. Okay. Over 2. A is what? 1. This, once you reach here, um, negative 1 times negative 1, that is just positive 1, plus or minus. So that will be 1, okay, minus 4 times 1, that is 4 times that will be negative 16, okay, over 2. All right, 4 by 4, that is uh, 16. Huh? So 1 plus or minus. 1 plus 16 over 2, okay? So two more last steps and we're done. So 1 plus or minus 17 over 2, okay? And here you write it like this, 1, start with the plus. Or 1 minus over 2, and here, your calculator will do everything, eh? okay? You don't need to punish yourself here. Write them as they are 1 plus square root of 17. Okay, divide by 2. So here I get um, 2.56 because it says two decimal places or that other one, 1 uh, minus square root of 17, okay, divide by 2, we get negative 1.56, so here x or p, since it was pi, is equal to either this or this, and you get 5 marks for this, huh? very simple question, okay? very simple. Okay, so we now go to this other question here. Um, this one says you have the set. Okay, the Venn diagram below shows the number of elements in sets A. Okay, number of elements in sets A. B. So this is the Venn diagram. Find x such that numbers in B is equal to numbers in that. Okay, wonderful. All right, so uh, numbers in B, put numbers in what? B, B on C, there's a complement here. The numbers in B, okay. So now the numbers in B is everything that is in B, which is 8, 5, and x minus 4. So we're going to say 8 plus 5, okay, plus x minus 4 okay then is equal to numbers so what is b union so b union c what does it tell us the complement here says nothing that is in b union c eh? okay absolutely nothing that is in b union c don't list anything in b union c so numbers that are outside b union c it's 7 and 10 eh? so 7 plus 10 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, you can put the like terms first. Okay, so this is 13, then minus 4 plus x is equal to there, 17. What do we get here? 13 minus 4, okay. But we can find our answers. All right. So here you get 9 plus x is equal to 17. Take this one, this side, x is equal to 17 minus 9. And this happens to be um, 8, okay. x is equal to 8. And it's done here. Then the other one says, find y such that numbers in c is equal to numbers in a. Okay, we're going to do it here. Numbers in C is equal to numbers in A. So see what do you have? You have 5 plus 2i. This is all what is in C. In A you have 7 and 8. Okay. 
so this one will be 5 plus 2y is equal to um, this gives us um, 15 okay 8 plus 7 is basically just 15 so since we're trying to find a here okay by trying to find a, I mean y here, you can just take this on this side. So 2y is equal to 15 minus 5. And you are going to have 2y is equal to 10 over 2 over 2. y is equal to 5. And you are there. Okay. Now the rest of the question is pretty much easy. Okay. Find um, numbers in E. Now what? The capital E here is a universal meaning everything, eh? Okay. So to find everything, you're going to add all the numbers. Let's start with the one which is outside. 10 plus these two, 7 and 8, that's 15 plus 5. Okay. X was what? X, we said it's 8, eh? 8 minus 4, that is 4. So we say plus 4. 2y, 2 by 5, that is 10. So the sum of this now becomes your your answer okay the sum of that becomes your answer for the universal that's 10 plus 15 plus 5 plus 4 plus 10 I'm getting 44 maybe i could have made an error somewhere you also need to add okay but the, the thing is that uh, you need to get the concept eh? So B complement, numbers in B complement, meaning everything excluding B, okay? So here we are getting everything excluding B. So 7, 10, and that's also 10, eh? So 10 plus 7 plus, this is also 10 because Y is 5. 10, and here you get 20. Sorry, you get 27, okay? You have 27. This question is done, okay? So this question 2019 paper. Is, uh, it's quite simple, okay. So, um, question 4a, okay, it's very simple, so I'm going to just answer it right away. Um, express this as a single fraction in its simplest form 5 over 2x minus 4 minus 5 over 3x plus 5 okay so now um so this, huh? this is the last question in this video we'll solve the other questions in the next uh, video okay sorry here it is actually a 4 i don't know why i wrote 5 again okay 2x minus 4 3x plus 5 wonderful okay so the denominator will pick this same um, one this one just write it the way it is. Here yeah, you do like your cross multiplying, okay? So 5 you multiply with this 3x plus 5 minus 4, 2x minus 4, okay? So here it's going to be 15x. This one gives us 25 minus 8x plus 16 okay 4 by 4 is 16 negative negative plus these ones will just be going along with like that okay so group the like terms 5x minus 8x plus 25 plus 16 uh 2x minus 4 3x plus 5 here you get negative 3x am i writing this negative 3x plus what's that um you have 25 plus 16 that's 11 2 3 4 4 1 these you just write them as they are like that All right, so uh, we end here in this video. We'll finish the questions in our 
next video so stay tuned please share and like the video comment if you can if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you need me to teach any topic that you're not clear as well also leave that in the comment section so finish the other questions you have um, question 4b which is a pseudocode uh, famous question uh, construction uh, this uh, vectors and um, version of the normal and then the rest is section B.